everyone, welcome back. Happy um, resetting for the new year, a few weeks late per usual, so therefore right on time. Welcome back, my sweet, sweet angels. I have um, been waiting to make this video until the time felt right. I also had this original idea to do a two week cleanse. I'll explain that more later, but I wanted to make this into a full blown reset for the new year, four sectors. Um, good old Rachel Gwen killed th this video concept a few years ago. I've always remembered it of her sectors that she like divided her life into and I think it just continues to resonate of the main components. So I'm kind of breaking this down into physical body, physical space, mental space, digital space. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would literally love to have you. Yeah, so let's just start out with physical body. <laughs> My hair is a different color. More about that will happen in another video, I believe, because it's not done yet. Um, okay, so right as the new year started, I really did want to just like, I was feeling a really strong urge to cut out alcohol. I just finished up a workout, and while I was working out, I had this idea. It's currently December 31st, 2020. Who knows what the new year holds, but I wanted to start out this video, get a head start on a two week Cleanse. Made a little outline for myself and I'm saying cleanse loosely because it wasn't like a real cleanse I wasn't following anyone else's rules I just was listening to like oh what would actually really probably make me feel better and that the main goal of it was to Try to establish a consistent workout routine, which I did and I've been feeling really good I'll share more of what I did there tracking how much water I was drinking because I realized that I have been very dehydrated for a long time um, making sure I'm taking my medication every day, making sure I'm taking probiotics every day, hopefully waking up on a semi-regular schedule and going to bed around the same time, um, not drinking a ton of coffee. The way I tracked this was in a little habit tracker on Notion. It was super easy. I just set up the columns of if I did a workout or not, how much water I drank, writing in if I had alcohol or not. I'll probably make a whole video on this at some point, but just, Finding the workouts that just make you feel really good is so quiche. And I've also really been enjoying it because I can feel myself getting stronger. Like I don't feel like a, a puny wimp like I was feeling before. Like now I'm like, I have muscles and I can get myself through the workout and that has been the most satisfying thing. Like I feel really, really satisfied that I'm like, oh, I'm a little bit, a little bit fit, you know? Like that's been nice. focused on eating how I normally eat. Any results I'd like to have from working out, I want like long-term results. I really changed my diet though, like I've still had takeout and, but I naturally eat pretty healthy, so I didn't really change much. Um, I had some Green Chef meals in there too, which I will let you know this video is sponsored by Green Chef. I'm so happy to be working with them again. I work with them a lot. They are a USDA certified organic company. They really hooked it up with some yummy meals. Like I said, it's not really to me about like the most healthy thing ever, but just eating a whole foods plant-based diet just feels really good and they definitely get me on track with that. I love their recipes. I always get their vegan plant-based kits, but they cater to other diets like paleo, keto, 
vegetarian, vegan, etc. I always say it's a really good way to try out a new diet. They just taste so good. They're really filling, easy to make. They take like 30 minutes or less usually. So, so good. It's great that they're delivered right to your door. You can pick from a variety of different recipes. They focus on sustainably sourced ingredients and adding organic ingredients into each kit. And it takes all of the having to go to the grocery store right now, planning, all of those things. And you're essentially guaranteed just like a really delicious dinner. So I'm really always happy with them. If you guys want to check them out, you can go to greenchef.us backslash where I live 90 to get $90 off total plus free shipping on your first box. So definitely recommend. They've been helping me eat so good. So that's how my physical body has been going. I'm also going to do a little spa night, maybe tonight. Now we got to we got to get into our our physical space. We are going to clean up my house. I am getting new furniture that's coming, so I want to mop. Okay, so I feel like cleaning up is the way I start my day. Some people like to clean at night, not me. I like to clean in the morning, and that's okay. <laughs> clean out my closets a little bit. I'm gonna pull out any clothes that I wanna put on Depop. Okay, we're gonna um, clean out this dirty closet that I just have thrown items in and I think that'll declutter some of my mental space so I can feel more free, don't you think? up for success. I do not do this naturally. I'm not a naturally organized person. I sleep better without things on my floor and that makes me realize even though it doesn't come naturally to me, I do prefer for things to be in their place and be organized and it does just make me wake up and feel lighter if there's not stuff everywhere. So my mental space. So this is I would say the most important. Right around the new year I just wasn't feeling like that inspired to write intentions or really like I wasn't feeling it. Okay, it's about 10 p.m. I'm working on taking inspired action, which is AKA filming this as I'm doing it. I think I've had some mental blocks up again, which is interesting because you always think, I always feel like I beat something like, yeah, I learned to get past that. And then you find yourself in the exact same position, which, Many of my good friends will remind me of the spiral of life, which is you're going upwards and you might hit the same point again, but you're always a little bit higher than you were the time before. And so maybe it feels like you're in the same place again, but you're always a little bit more knowledgeable or a little bit better at handling it than you were the first time. And I try to keep that in mind. But I also realized that I've kind of lost sight of where I actually see my future going, which is interesting. And I didn't realize that I had really lost sight on that, but I realized that I hadn't, haven't really been setting myself towards any type of goal for a while, which is totally okay. And some 
something that's important to me and a lot of people who use like similar practices of like manifesting or law of attraction i think it's really important to actually be clear and feel inspired while you're like writing these things down and i just hadn't hit that point yet until recently turned on some beyonce i was just listening to some really uplifting music i was dancing around and that just really helps me feel in the zone of like let me put out some good things that i want for myself this year and yeah so i was kind of writing down some things that i feel like i need to work through again and just some tips there hopefully this helps you and just like inspires you to to direct yourself in a way that feels good it's the physical body that has been helping my mental space so much so those things like having a clean space and having um, the excess energy in my body like released through exercise has been helping me so 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 much so that's why I kind of put those first because that leads into just like feeling clear and good and grounded Lastly, digital space, very important. I am the most cluttered digitally. My email inboxes are a wreck. It's just not my strong suit. So I want to clean off my phone. I think this is long and overdue. I will be downloading all my photos onto a hard drive and then I will be deleting them because I have photos on there from years and years ago and like I'm getting tired of like memories popping up that's like, hey, remember this day two years ago? And I'm like, you know, I don't need to do that right now. <laughs> it feels like time to just refresh my phone. I'm gonna back up my computer, all the hard drives. I'm gonna start like new folders and drives for the new year. So like 2021 folders in my email inboxes, things like that just get really, really organized. <laughs> Um, organize my notion I use notion to like do so much in my life so I want to get that very functional functioning in a high way that is going to make my workflow just even better and just like delete old emails that are just literally sitting there yeah so that's pretty much has been my process over the past couple of weeks of resetting for the new year i hope this gave you a little inspo um, to do it for yourself if you haven't already or at any point in the year use this to just like kind of reset it doesn't have to be around the new year new years honestly don't really mean much and yeah if you want to check out green chef go to greenchef.us backslash where i live 90 to get 90 dollars off and free shipping on your first box thank you guys for being here so i will see you all in the next one